start uh, doing the uh, paint finish on the uh, wheels. And I'm going to do a distressed uh, paint finish. Um, trying to match the blue in the uh, saddle here. And I got a really good close match. And we're going to paint the tire to look like uh, rusted metal. Okay, the uh, first step uh, doing the paint finish is uh, to do a, a background color. And we're going to use a uh, aniline dye, dark brown walnut. And that's a, what that's going to do is give it a background color underneath the paint. So when we do our distress paint finish, we see a dark color showing through. And we're just going to brush this on. Okay, the next step is we're going to seal in the dye uh, with just a light coat of acrylic. Okay, now we're going to put our blue paint on and the technique here is we're going to just be uh, dabbing blue paint around. Uh, we want it to look, have the appearance of it's uh, peeling off in spots. So we're just going to be doing one coat. It's going to be a one coat and it's going to be kind of dabbing it on. And skipping a few spots here and there. So it looks like it's been peeling off. Okay, our paint is dry and now we're going to uh, apply one coat of orange shellac. Okay, after that first coat of shellac, we sealed in the paint. And now we're going to do some distress marks. Just going to take some black paint and just do some random little marks. Even some little scratches. Now I'm going to seal it again uh, with another coat of shellac, and this time just a clear shellac. And now the final step is uh, one good coat of the uh, satin acrylic.